nice relaxing evening by myself. I want to get banged on the beach. Ah, did it lead I did it lead I what a great life it is down by the sea. Here she oh, comes. it's fantastic. Yes, it is. It's a great life down by How are you, bollocks? Yeah. Huh? I had a great day on the beach with Sadie, you know. You oh, should have come. Oh, did you? Did you? Yeah. Did you? You wouldn't catch me dead on a beach. Huh? Sand in your cacks. Kids screaming. And crabs up me crack. Thank you, but no. Ah, it was great. Right. See air, a bit of a dip. And then me and Sadie had a 69. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. A what? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, a 99 without the flake. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right. 69 yeah, without yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, look, uh, I bought you a present. Here you are. It's just hear me pocket. <laughs> it's a stone that looks like a Mickey. Oh, get that away from me! What? Get it's it a, away! It's a present! God knows what evil curses that object possesses. What are you scuttering on about? Have you never heard the tale of... <laughs> the Yard of Phallus? You mean the Yard of No, Ch this is the one they don't talk about. Oh. The one you won't see in the National Museum. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> well... Back in the 12th century, the monks of Clonmacnobs held a very important and potent relic. Ooh. Reputed to be the knob end of the most virile saint of all time, uh, Saint Rumpy, who was so prolific at bedding the ladies that it was rumoured <laughs> he had single-handedly created entire parishes all around Europe from scratch. <laughs> and then the church let him do that. Well, initially they were delighted at having all the new parishes, but when he bedded the Queen of Spain, things got awful complicated. And when the king found out what had happened, he cut his head off, so to speak. Oh. <laughs> now that's got to hurt. Yep. And after that debacle, the Pope at the time, uh, Pope Bendy the Sixth, yeah. he brought in the whole uh, celibacy thing. Right. Saint Rumpy changed his ways and lived a holy life performing many good miracles until he died. After his canonization, his knob end was preserved in a golden shrine, fashioned in the shape of a phallus. It was kept in the monastery of Clonmacnobs, at the base of a special tower built in its honor. And everything was fine until all the ladies of the village became pregnant. Huh? After an investigation, it was discovered that uh, it was the monks that had gone on an orgiistic rampage. <laughs> oh, they couldn't help themselves. <laughs> One rub of the sacred phallus, and they would have to sow their wild oats. <laughs> Hummers under their habits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus, um. I tell you what, though. The long and short of it was the monks were excommunicated and the relic hidden in the ground. That was until the early 1900s when local farmer Willie Limp was digging up potatoes in his field in Arda when he came upon a strange object. Oh, jeez, look at that. That's as queer a looking potato as I've ever seen, he said. Oh, no, uh, was it, uh, was it uh, a blankety blank checkbook and pen, huh? What, huh? huh? No, you feckin' Egypt! It was St. Rumpy's <laughs> raunchy relic! Or the, uh, Arda Phallus, as it became known as. Mm. Willie brought it home and gave it a clean. And while he was rubbing it, he was overcome with a mighty sexual urge. Jesus. Mrs. Limp was nearly worn out, as were most of the women in the village. <laughs> Oh, the women now... Well, his, his wife couldn't have been too happy about that. Sure, it was her idea. Huh? She could take no more. You see, the urge was all-consuming. Oh. The power of the phallus was relentless. Jesus. Uh, Willie went to the doctor. Willie, all I can tell you is, if you do not stop, you will ride yourself into an early grave. Yeah, he said. Jeez. What a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Willie eventually decided to take the object to his parish priest to see if he had any advice for him. The priest's face went white huh? when he saw the relic. He pulled down an ancient book and read something out in Latin. Huh. Uh, well, well, what, what did it say? How in arse would I know it was in feckin' Latin? Huh? All I do know is the priest told Willie the church wanted nothing to do with the relic. 
to get it as far away from the parish as possible. So the next day he packed up the relic and headed for the coast. He was almost dead from riding <laughs> by the time he reached the sea. <laughs> there was a liner about to leave, and he thought to himself, huh? Oh, Jesus. The best thing I can do is get this thing off Irish soil. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and in his exhausted state, he managed to stuff the relic into a luggage chest before it was put on board. Ah, now that's a good idea. When the captain opened his luggage... Captain? He was surprised to find a phallic-shaped object. Oh. He gave it a rub, and then the urge took over. <laughs> <laughs> he was too busy whining, dining, and 69ing to notice <laughs> the iceberg. Iceberg? Yes, Rog. The ship had a name you might well be familiar with. Oh, oh, uh, the USS Enterprise. Uh, Stardate captain calling the, your the log. Back in Egypt. Huh? The Titanic. Uh, oh, the, the Titanic. Jesus, huh? The Titanic. It's not easy to see an iceberg, Rog, when you're ball deep in second class. <laughs> 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 that's a story you don't hear, you see. Yeah, no, that's not Iceberg, in no history book. Iceberg, Titanic, USS no, Enterprise. No, sir. No. Come here. Did they uh, ever find the relic? No. And you never know where it might turn up. Jeez. Never know. <laughs> <sighs> Come here, Podge. Oh, no, <laughs> Wait till I tell you. <laughs> Me and Sadie. Yeah, what? <laughs> we went skinny dipping. <laughs> Oh, that frothy surf oh, sluicing oh, around your privates. Oh, fish again. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I'll never sleep tonight now with the thought of that. Oh. Seaweed and cellulite. <laughs> look, look at me own out. surfboard. Look at that. Oh, put that away. <laughs> put it down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. God, Ooh. I'm sick to me. Dumb up. Uh.